Welcome to Beyond the Horizon podcast, a show all about the Horizon ecosystem and the exciting world of blockchain and Web3. Join us as we explore the latest happenings in this rapidly evolving space and discover new horizons together. Now let's go Beyond the Horizon. Hello, Xavier. Thank you for being on this call. Today, uh, we are going to talk about Horizon Neon, so the new EVM chain by Horizon. I would like to know your experience with Horizon Neon, uh, what you did deploy, and uh, what you would recommend for the uh, for the community to deploy on uh, Horizon Neon. Uh, so first, let's start. Can you introduce yourself uh, very quickly to the community? Yeah, so uh, hello, Mano. Thanks for uh, having me here. Um... Well, I, I, I discovered crypto a long time ago, but um, I'm an investor only since uh, 2019. Uh, quickly, I um, discovered Horizon when I was uh, looking for a masternode project. So uh, I got a masternode and then uh, discovered all the rest, the community, the academy, um, the early adopters program. Um, I don't know if it exists uh, anymore. I don't think so. Um, and uh, the HDE that was for developers uh, to maybe provide some tasks, some work, and um, and all the all the people, the Discord, uh, that that was a great a great community. So I felt like uh, I wanted to be involved in that. Thank you, and uh, yeah, for the already uh, Horizon already added the program, uh, so that's being deprecated, uh, being replaced by a developer newsletter. Uh, and by channels on Discord, where the developer can ask any questions they have about the Horizon protocols, Horizon EVM, so Horizon Yarn, Zindu, and join the team uh, to get support. Yeah, uh, but, uh, yeah. So, yeah we, we have uh, the DAO also. That's uh, very nice. So yes, to tools evolve. Uh, that's not a problem. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it has to. So thank you for that. Um, you were one of the first ambassadors and community members to try uh, the Horizon EVM uh, so on the first testnet. Can you tell us more about your uh, progress on the uh, Horizon Neon testings uh, from testnets to mainnet? Yes, well, uh, at first, before that, um, I discovered Zendu, and I think that was the first uh, tutorials I wrote on uh, setting up a Zendu node. And uh, it was at the beginning of the side chain, so when uh, when Eon came uh, came out, uh, I wanted to try it. Uh, so I uh, I learned Solidity since uh, I had stopped development for <laughs> nearly ten years, and uh, I started by minting a token, uh, a test token in a Remix at the time, and uh, that was the the start of uh, the love ecosystem. <laughs> So yes, I, I learned and I uh, I shared um, in the the same time. Uh, I did some things and explained to to people how uh, how things can be done uh, at my uh, little level. So basic things because that's how you learn. Yeah, so the community love uh, the love ecosystem. Uh, so there is a full set, uh, a place to stake uh, that is still on the tested now. And uh, you can also buy a uh, love token from the store. And there is also the faucet coin. Um, so what was the purpose of creating this? Uh, show a new ecosystem, so just to make the Horizon community try new things? Uh, what was the, the main purpose of that? Well, I, I was in a, a little community uh, and we, we started uh, finding out that uh, during the bear market, um, the the people were angry and sad, <laughs> so uh, I wanted to to bring some uh, brightness <laughs> at my level. So, uh, well, what better than love for that? So yes, I, I started by uh, creating the token, giving it some people. Then I created the faucet. It was to to learn smart contracts and apps. Uh, then I oh, I developed the the store. Uh, when people, where people could buy more love than just what the faucet has to give, and then the staking to be even more rewarded. Well, and the next steps are uh, to bring to the mainnet uh, the tokens that people have uh, earned on the testnet, so that they don't start from uh, from scratch on the mainnet. 
Great. We will consider bridge to uh, to be ready so to have this uh, transfer from the test tokens, uh, test love ecosystem to the real love ecosystem. Uh, that would be interesting to see. Thank you for that. Uh, one last question. Uh, what advice uh, could you give to a developer today who is coming in the Horizon ecosystem and wants to deploy on Horizon Yarn? Uh, what, would you, uh, what would be your advice? Well, I would recommend um, learning basic smart contracting skills uh, on YouTube or tutorials and uh, applying that immediately on Remix uh, and deploying on uh, on Gobi so that it's free. <laughs> And uh, you using simple simple tools and adding uh, components partners uh, since uh, um, such as Oracle, uh, I think uh, Band uh, has joined the partners. Um, I don't remember about the others. And using uh, Truffle, are that uh, stacking the tools to to learn uh, step by step and uh, understanding. Uh, brick by brick how things work and developing their own perfect thank you xavier so i hope that some developers uh will join and if you have some questions if you are a developer and want to join the horizon ecosystem feel free to tag xavier on our discord and uh, he will uh with he would be happy to to help you mm -hmm. um thank you xavier we are at the end of uh, this interview thank you for joining uh and i, I hope that uh, the community uh, will appreciate that uh your availability and explanation explanations. Thank you, Xavier. Thank you, Manon. Move button. Five. I think that you knew EVMs before coming to Arizona because your name is DeFi, so you should uh, <laughs> tell me. Yeah. So uh, I want to say. Um, Probably the first EVM chain I used was Matic before it was called Polygon back in 2017. I probably had set up like a My Ether wallet or MetaMask or something back. Uh, oh, wait, no, I did not 2017, 2020. I'm sorry. Now, I was talking about 2017 with Ethereum, but the first EVM chain probably knew of was uh, Matic uh, before it was called Polygon back in 2020. Um, and, you know, obviously 2020, they call it the DeFi summer. That's kind of where a lot of my DeFi names kind of got coined out of. Um, I've probably used 20 different EVM chains, but like just because there is one doesn't make it valuable. But the reason people are excited about this one is because it's built on Horizon. It's a longstanding, successful project. There's been, you know over 40,000 nodes on the main chain for like years now. Um, so there's there's just people here supporting the network always. And, you know, as uh, Troll Alino said, um, you know, there was always these constant updates and, and it's literally been that like that for six years. Like I remember back in the days of uh, they, there was a Slack channel before it was on Discord and it was, uh, you know, Rob and uh, Rolf giving like you know ralph had these like whiteboard crypto things and i thought he was like the coolest guy smartest guy ever because he was talking about like all the ins and outs and all the tech stuff and it was just like you know some guy with his whiteboard but like people don't do that anymore it like it, it was like it was like a real thing you were connected with everyone working on the project and it's still like that now um so so like even though there's, you know, countless EVM networks out there, there's been ones that came and launched, you know, maybe saw a little bit of a success, failed, shut down, or or maybe their ecosystems are just dead. But that's because the majority of them didn't have an actual, like, value behind them. They were just like, hey, here's a new chain, here's a new DEX, here's a new whatever, like Ponzi, and and like, here, come here. And then once everyone, you know, extracts whatever value from it, then they're gone. But like the value's already here and it's like, we're just building upon that. So that's where I really think the the differentiator with Eon is. It's not just another EVM chain. 
it's an EVM chain on Horizon, which already has, you know, six years of roadmap deliveries and success. So uh, definitely excited about that. Florolino, tell me your, your journey with uh, EVMs. Uh, well, I have known of uh, EVMs before Horizon, but uh, of course, it's uh, great to have a uh, uh, hori- uh, EV- EVM on Horizon as well, you know, because uh, it adds to the value, and uh, it's it's not just um, an EVM uh, chain uh, an Eon. It's uh, the possibility of uh, having uh, dozens or hundreds of uh, uh, ch- side chains as Eon uh, uh, on the Horizon network. Uh, adds uh, infinite possibilities such as adding a privacy sidechain which could uh, also add uh, something that uh, it's not currently possible on Ethereum. And maybe you can tell us about what you deployed on uh, Horizon Eon uh, because uh, if the community saw some grim- gremlins <laughs> passing by the Discord server or uh, Twitter, so that's uh, thanks to Trollolino. Can you tell us more about this uh, Greenlands series and uh, how did you deploy? Did you enjoy to deploy it? And uh, t- tell us. Uh, yes, I, I've made. Uh, I think I'm the first one to make uh, an NFT collection on the Eon main Eon sidechain, uh, not on the test nets, uh, but uh, on the actual uh, Eon uh, sidechain. And uh, yeah, the the. Illustrations are made uh, by uh, artificial intelligence, but uh, it makes a lot of mistakes, so I had to uh, correct them and uh, edit. But uh, the how do I say? Uh, but the idea for the this NFT collection was the movie Gremlins from the nineties. Uh, and uh, mixed with the uh, Fortnite style and something like that. Uh, so yes, I, I minted the NFT collection. Uh, there were already some uh, buyers, and uh, I hope to see the market uh, on the Eon Horizon uh, for the NFTs soon. Uh, I was promised that we'll see, and. Uh, also, I have uh, issued some uh, tokens on the test nets, but not on the Dion. The so that's about it of of my uh, uh, smart contracts on the Horizon Neon. And did you deploy something on, on a Horizon Neon DeFi? Um, so me personally, I haven't deployed anything yet. Um, I think kind of the extent of, you know, kind of things I've done was... Uh, I did test out, um, I think another ambassador kind of made the like first, you know, proof of concept thing. It was like the faucet coin where you went Mm -hmm. and you could, uh, you could get like one faucet coin a day. And I think, you know, uh, every so often he gives out like a reward from, uh, one of his, one of his secure nodes. So like, it's definitely cool to see just like little things where it's like, Hey, I I made this like uh, you know as as uh, you know the infrastructure and the applications get built out. Um, <clears throat> I did uh, before uh, on Token Mint. Um, I I want to say I created the first meme token because it was like Zen Cat, and it was just kind of funny because I saw uh, Erica was like doing the same thing at the same time. And I didn't even know she was doing it. So I kind of turned me doing it into like a race, uh, like who could mint it first. Um, so we kind of like, we're both minting tokens on there at the same time. Um, but I did, uh, not personally, but I, uh, helped coordinate, um, you know, one of the, uh, the partners that, uh, lined up with horizon Eon one chain, uh, which is a solution to uh, bring assets from other blockchains into uh, the Horizon ecosystem. Um, so really, you know, the only way for EVMs to uh, kind of bring liquidity in that's not from their own token is they need to be able to uh, pull in assets from other blockchains, but also do it in a way that's, uh, you know, decentralized secure and 
permissionless where people don't have to worry about oh like what happens uh if my if these like something happens to uh this service that's you know bridging over so um i definitely think uh you know horizon is kind of bringing in the right partners and solutions so that uh you know something you know that doesn't happen in the future it's like build right the first time don't fix it later um but it, i think that's that's definitely happened for sure all right gizim uh you didn't tell us yet uh what would you what would you like to see on horizon Yarn? yeah obviously a lot of DeFi depths but uh before that uh i think yeah, the layer zero based uh, protocols will be fine to bring assets, but we need the third party, other da other dApps also, which are uh, basically into bridging services like uh, Bunzi or uh, Rhino FI kind of their kind of dApps because uh, people are using those dApps and uh, it helps to bring assets very easily. Mm, uh, to the blockchain, to the you know, EVM based chains. So once people are uh, accustomed to bridge assets, and uh, that will help to bring uh, bring up the DeFi TVL. And also one thing is needed that is uh, if the exchanges can support direct withdrawal to Horizon Yon, that will help basically because a lot of uh, uh, people do not know how to do all these technical stuffs, so that thing is needed. And uh, once the bridging process is easy, obviously DeFi dApps will be doing well, and people will be put, putting on a lot of money in those dApps. And uh, besides that, obviously NFTs, uh, NFTs have been good scope. Uh, so I like to see a lot of NFT dApps also on Horizon. Now no, I, I will ask you all. Uh... Do you have something to say to a new community member or a new developer joining Horizon? Uh, how do you uh, or do you share your your hype? Uh, PVM, you can start. Is that for new people? A bit of a non-boring, yeah. So, uh, if you're new to Horizon and new to the ambassadors, you are just joining a top family, and you are joining the future of DeFi and EVM. I like that. For let me know what uh, what would be your uh, your pitch. Uh, well, for me, I would say for new people, uh, welcome to the horizon. Uh, I think the horizon has a greater potential than even Ethereum. So you're on, in the right place. I love that. Uh, thank you, Ben. Oh, yes, uh, DeFi. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, I feel like I kind of gave a lot of my excitement in the last responses, but, um, you know, I feel like uh, the Horizon ecosystem is, uh, you know, an easy place to get involved, get noticed, get interaction with, you know, the team, community, um, you know, people working on the project and uh, kind of have your input and contributions actually matter uh and not just feel like you're like talking to a brick wall or like getting frustrated or over how things are going like you actually speak up and people are listening and uh taking into an account what the community wants to see out of uh you know the future and uh, how things are going so uh you know i i kind of see it more like uh you know a place that uh you know if you're if you're passionate about crypto and blockchain, uh, you want your voice to be heard, and Horizon's the place uh, to do that and uh, get involved. Paragism. Yeah, uh, if you uh, if you are interested to become ambassador or a community member of Horizon, I must tell you that the team has been there for a long time. The project is uh, doing well since long time and a lot of developments are taking place so the uh, nothing is stagnant here the community is very vibrant and if you want to take part in it obviously you will be learning a lot of things you will be able to know a lot of new people and uh, it will enrich you personally and professionally and 
you will be able to grow yourself also in different ways by your help by help of your technical knowledge and uh, it will also bring a lot of social contacts to you because there are a good number of people and good people here who want blockchain technology to grow that's all thank you paradis thank you all for your pep talks uh, i love that and i thank you uh, the community um so that was our ambassadors and their experience on horizon Yon. Uh, so thank you for watching Hello, my name is Gustavo and I'm a developer advocate for Horizon and uh, I'm here today to speak a little bit about uh, my experience in the blockchain industry and uh, our new exciting chain Eon. So let's get started. How long have you been in the blockchain industry? So I've been in the blockchain industry for over six years now and it's been a crazy ride but it's at the same time it's been uh, interesting to follow how the industry has been evolving and maturing over time when did you learn about the horizon project i've been with zen a zen supporter since pretty much the day one and uh, i had the pleasure to meet uh, our founder hobby cleone and he sold me on the the vision and the vision that he, he had for zen and i still remember I think that were one of the first taglines, it was something along the lines empowering individuals through decentralized technologies and that was something that resonated with me back then and it still resonates to, to me today and uh, it's still part of the vision. So I've been a proud supporter of Zen since pretty much the day one. Did you deploy smart contracts on Horizon Eon? As you know, Eon is an EVM compatible chain as part of the testing, yeah, I deployed some smart contracts, but I'm only a hobbyist uh, Solidity developer, so I, uh, there was nothing really to brag about. It was mainly contracts for testing purposes, and yeah, that was pretty much it. What would you like to see on Horizon, Horizon Eon? Depths, tools, and partnerships? So yeah, that's a good question. So first, I think we should build out of a strong foundation. So by strong foundation, I mean... Uh, we need a robust infrastructure, we need a robust historical system, we need multiple bridges, and uh, we also need a strong sense and focus on security. And I know that the team is working on all these four items, and uh, we are already at the point that uh, we are ready to start uh, fostering and uh, recruiting uh, different teams and developers to deploy in our chain. So we actually now we need to build a whole ecosystem. So we need to have people bridging their assets to Eon. So we need to to have decentralized exchanges, lending and borrowing. Uh, we need the prediction markets, derivatives, the NFTs, the NFTs use cases like the NFT marketplaces. We need the on-chain governments, the DAOs, the DAOs community. So yeah, there's a lot of to be done. But I think above everything, we need to recruit the kind of talented that uh, they are going to build the next wave of uh, decentralized applications, the ones that will bring the Web3 revolution. And I think that uh, Zen is going to be focused on fostering that kind of talent. And hopefully we can be part of that revolution and become one of the leading EVM chains. Feel free to reach me out on Discord. I'm uh, pretty much available all day and uh, it's been a pleasure. Thank you, guys. Thank you for joining us on Beyond the Horizon. Stay tuned for more exciting episodes as we continue to discover the limitless potential of the Horizon ecosystem. If you liked this episode, make sure to subscribe and leave a thumbs up. Thank you and we'll see you again next time.